Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve set theory by Philip Newman by using set equivalence theory. Click on the link below if you want to try this devilishly hard puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, so let's look at this puzzle. You want to, when you're doing set, you want to look for clumps of digits, uh, like digits that are in you know focused in certain rows and columns. That's kind of the traditional way. So we'll notice at the very top, you got a nine eight seven right there. And then you have a one, two, eight right there. Uh, so one, two, eight, nine, seven, right? Let's see how many of one, two, eights, nines, and sevens we can capture. And you got another one right here. And a fifth row right here. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then what is that? And now we're looking, what does that leave us with a three, four, five, six? Well, it leaves a three, four, five, six in uh, columns three, four. Uh, we'll leave that four right there. Eight and nine. And if you're like, what the heck are you doing, Timberlake? I don't remember any of this. So the idea set theory, Sudoku, you have. Uh, the digits one through nine in every row, column, and block. We know that, but with set, what it's saying is you can, you know, those one through nine, there they can be found equivalently in another row, column, or block. And so that's what we're doing with set theory. So the idea is that we know the digits one through nine are right here, and we also know, you know, those same one through nine will be across the row. The ones that intersect are the same in that column, you know, say we're talking about column three and row six, they're the same. So we, we don't need to uh, worry about that. All the digits we know about uh, in the purple have to be somewhere in this orange because uh, we, these are unknown digits in the orange and they're not found in the purple, right? But they have to be because of set theory, uh, set. Same thing with the orange, all those have to be in the purple somewhere. And since we have, and the idea things you're trying to do is do the restriction where it's the same amount and, and one goes into the other and that you have different digits. Uh, so, you know, the, maximize the different digits. In this case, one, two, seven, nine are only in the orange. Three, four, five, six are only in the purple. That's great. We don't have to, uh, if you did have ones that were the same, like if you had two ones in there, you could just cancel them out because you already know where the one, you know, that extra one that was in the orange, you already know where it'd be in the purple, basically. But the thing you might notice here too is I did five rows and only four columns. Can we still solve it set that way? He answers yes. Yeah, we sure can. So here's how we do it. Uh, let's first count how many givens we have in the orange. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and then how many unknowns do we have in the purple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, 13 and 8 do not equal each other. How do we rectify this situation? You well, it's very simple. It has to do with the fact we have five rows of orange and only four columns. So since we have five rows, we know there's an additional set of the digits, 1 through 9, uh, the, of the orange, uh, than what we have in the purple. So we need to subtract those five digits from the orange that we know about because we, we know there can only be four sets of the digits one two seven eight nine in the purple so we had 13 given one two seven nine that's five digits so 13 minus eight is or 13 minus five is eight and so now we can fill those in still by saying okay well we know exactly there's four to make our four sets of the uh there's one two seven eight nine so these still have to be one two seven eight nine and i'll get rid of the reds you know here in a minute so let's go back to the purple you have how many filled in purple one two three four five six seven eight and how many missing orange do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve did i count that right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now you're going to say, okay, Timberlake, 12. The last time was 13, going to 8. Well, now we have 12. What's up? Well, it's because since we only have four columns in orange, or excuse me, four in purple, 
uh, we need to add another set of digits three, four, five, and six to this orange because there's five, uh, five sets of the digits one through nine in the orange. And so basically, you have the eight known. You add four more, three, four, five, six, and so you get twelve. So now we can, and this is how set works when you have the inequalities like this. These have to be the digits three, four, five, and six. And if you're still not quite getting it, you're like, I don't, I don't see what you're doing here, Timberlake. I recommend you check out my initial uh, set tutorial one, and I'll put a link to it right here. And that way, uh, hopefully, it'll make a little bit more sense because I spent a little bit more time explaining how set works and the inequalities. All right, so we know the fours aren't in here. That's why we can get rid of these fours. Everything in red, we can get rid of. So what set told us is now these are limited to the, these digits here. You know, the three, four, five is the only three that can be in there. Three, four, five, six right there. One, two, seven, eight, nine. And it's really nice. Now, Phil Newman did talk about this in the local discussion with ranks. Uh, and this puzzle, I think, was originally done using this uh, complicated, more complicated theory called multi-sector lock sets. We're not using that, and I'm not going to explain that right now. Um, I have a better handle. This is about set, but this is a, a set is kind of like a different, I think, an easier way to understand and solve the problem. So let's now look here and go, okay, where can we do some initial solving, right? And so you, you want to see, you know, did we create for ourselves some triples, some um, quads, you know, something that makes this a little bit easier to solve? Are there some hidden singles? You know, what's going to make this puzzle easier to solve? I think the first thing you might notice is this 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that has to be a 4, right? And then this is a 3, 5, 6 naked triple right here. So we can fill out the rest of these digits here in uh, block 4. So what we're missing is a 2. We're missing a, a 2. 8 and a 9. You have a 2 and an 8 right there, so there's your 9. And then this has to be a 2, 8, naked pair. Great. So now this is a 2, 8, naked pair. That's no longer an 8. All right. But hey, so then we got the 9 right there. We got 9 here, 9 here. Two spots for a 9 right there. Uh, we'll get back to that. So what else can we solve? Uh, let's focus here on block 6. You'll see four and a seven cut across this way. The four fills in this block and the seven comes down. So the four and seven are limited to these two spots. So we can put a four, seven uh, naked pair right there. And so what does that do for the rest of the cells here in block six? We're missing a one, we're missing a six and a nine. And so uh, I see a six right there. So we can do one, nine, one, six, nine, and one, six, nine. Okay, other thing too is come across here. Now we know this has to be a three, five, or six. We have a five and you have a six in the column. So that's a three. And now this creates a five, six naked pair right here. Awesome. Like it. Okay, let's move up column five. So what you're missing is a three, seven, and eight, which you probably notice there's a three here and a three here. So that has to be your three. And so this is can be a seven and an 8, and this can be a 7 and an 8. Okay, how are we looking on the 3's now? Uh, looks like 3, I'm just kind of scanning here, so 3, 3, so 3's can be in oh, any of those 4 spots. Yeah, no worries. Alright, uh, how about we look in uh, Let's, let's continue our focus here on block five. So we have a two, three, four, five, six. We're missing a one, seven, eight, nine. So this has to be a one and a seven because you have the eight and a nine coming in. And there's seven right there. So that's a one, eight, nine, and then you have seven, eight. Okay. Okay, so let's focus up here on block two. Uh, what you're missing is a 1, a 2, a 6, and a 7. So 2 and a 6. So this is a 1, 7. And now you notice now you have a 1, 7 naked pair, right? So now that can't be a 1 or 7 either. So 1, 2, 6, 7. You have a 2, 
Can't be a one or seven, so this has to be your six. And then this up here, there's a seven, so this would be a one or a two right there. Uh, and then now with this naked pair, we're missing uh, three, five. There's a three, so that's your five. And then this is your three. Nice. Okay, and now let's move on to another part of the puzzle. What is remaining here in block eight? We got one, two, three, so we're missing a four, seven, and an eight. Seven right there, so that's four, eight. And this would be a four, seven, eight. And what you'll notice, uh, four, four, you know, the fours are restricted to those two spots, which makes sense. Okay, and you see that, the, you know, the puzzle is just kind of coming along uh, swimmingly, you know, it's coming along real nice. The set makes it so much easier compared if you try this. I, this puzzle is a beast. It, you put in a solver and it requires a couple of brute force, almost lock set chains. I mean, if you bifurcate, I imagine you're still going to have a really difficult time with it. But if you did, hey, put in the comments. Let me know how it went. I'd love to. Um, you could look right here, the 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, and go, hey, that has to be a 3 because of uniqueness. I'm not going to try to solve that with uniqueness. I'd rather go a different way of solving uh, that cell. But, but hey, we have a 2, 8 here. I kind of forgot when I put the 8 in there. So that actually can be solved for a 7. That's a 1. That's a 9. Maybe you caught that. That's a 9. That's a 6. Now we have a 1, 9 pair there. There's the only one place left for an 8, which is right here. It's a 4. That's a 7. Uh, and then this is an 8. So we finished off columns 5 and 6. And then, you know, we have just only these two cells up here in column 4. Looking good. All right. I love this. I love it. I love it. Where should we focus next? Um, let's look at, I'll focus on rows like seven and eight, see where we can go with that. So row seven, you got a one, two, three, seven, nine. So you're missing a four, five, six, eight. So we got a four there. So this is a five, six, eight, five, six. So that's gonna be four, eight, four, five, six, eight. And then you got a four, four, six, eight. Okay. And what are we missing? Uh, the rest of, I said I'd focus on row eight now. And we got a, a one, four, seven, nine. So we're missing a two, three, five, six, eight. So can't be a three, two, five, six, eight, two, three, five, six, eight. So two, three, and an eight. And right here, three, five, so two, six and eight you're probably like man tim really that's not really that helpful can you can you give me something a little bit better than that and the answer is yes i can give you something a little bit better than that uh we'll finish off row block seven here you probably notice uh you know what can be in these two spots can't be can be uh you know two or a four but that's it so you actually have just a two four right here so that's a two four naked pair we can get rid of that two and with the two four, you can get rid of the twos right there. So what you're looking at now over here is a one seven nine. There's a seven, so that's a one nine. So we have a one seven nine, naked triple across the bottom. Other thing, these eights are a pointing pair, so you can get rid of these eights, and now you have a one two, naked pair in column three, and you have this eight coming across, and so that has to be a five or a six. Now you have this one, two right here, and one, two right there. Those are That's another naked pair. We can get rid of that one, two. And you have just an eight, nine. So we're making a lot, you know, and you can see it just is very easy to do. And I'm doing full notation in each block that I do. I'm not using Snyder because I wanted to show kind of how to solve this using that uh, set. And now you see the one and the one, two spots for a one there. And you got the one, two, those spot one, two can be on top or the bottom there. Got rid of that one, two right there. That's very helpful. And so let's look at where we want to go with this next. And so, yeah, the five, six, the five, six. Remember I was saying that this had to be a three because of uniqueness. Well, now we can show it with this five, six naked pair. That has to be a three. And then you have this five, six naked pair going across column, rows five and row six and coming up column two. So we can use that five, six to our advantage and know that this can't be a five or a six. It has to be a four. And since that's a four, this is a two and that's a four. And then this is an eight and that's a two. 
So let's finish off column two. We're missing a seven and a nine. There's your seven. So here's your nine and there's your seven. Okay, let's look now at column one. We're missing a three, five, six, eight. So five, six, three, six. So this would be a three or an eight. And this could be a, oh, three, five, and a six. So this has to be an eight and that's your three. And now I have another five, six naked pair. Love it. All right. And now we've, we've really made some more you know, great progress. So we were able to solve across here. This now has to be a nine, which disambiguates the one and the nine right there. You come down here, seven and the one. Uh, solve this four, solve the seven. These are all naked singles. Solve that for an eight. And now you, you can solve this for a nine. So we got rid of that one, seven, nine, naked triple. We're able to solve all of that. Let's work our way up column eight. You see there's a two, three there. So we know this has to be a two or a three. And work our way up column nine. So two, four, six, and eight, where are we missing? Four and eight and a six. So that's your two right there. That's an eight, that's a three, that's a one. That's a two, that's six, that's a four. Five and a three, a six, five, and eight. And you can see where, you know, how this is going, right? So after we applied set, how hard was the puzzle? It wasn't that hard at all. Uh, it kind of flowed really naturally. So let's look at these last two. What do you think this is? I think that's going to be a four, and that's going to be a one. Sudoku's been solved. If you want to see more solving like this, check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you, Philip Newman, for letting me feature these wonderful applications of set and these puzzles on my channel. Don't forget, buy me a coffee. If you want to support me, I'd really appreciate it. Check out the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.